Hi guys, Luke Duke. So, today, uh, a little bit earlier today, I finished downloading and setting up my uh, Windows 8 and then upgrading to 8.1. I've waited till the full version came out before I mess, I don't want to mess around with the preview. So this is my first look at it. <coughs> mm. um, so, I just wanted to show you guys how I've gone about setting up. Uh, I've done a lot of research on it uh, pr prior to get, getting, it, getting it going. So I want to show you guys what I've done with it and what my views are on it and gaming with it primarily, and you know how I think it's gone and how I think it is. Um, a lot of people disliking it, um, but the other people that are liking it are really liking it. You know that's my feeling. So I want to show you this the Metro screen. Oh, some people don't call it that anymore, but anyway, here it is. Um, there it goes. That's the last time I really see that. Um, so I don't see that at all. Uh, my computer boots up <laughs> direct to the desktop. Most people that have got 8.1 on a desktop are going to do this. Um, just quickly, um, if you right click the bottom bar here, there's a lot of tutorials on this sort of thing. Hit properties, you get this little window come up, hit navigation. If you just want to stop the video, you can see my settings there. That's what I've got it working at at the moment. I won't dwell on that, like I say, there's a million, uh, million things going on with that. Um, I have the uh, Windows key, as you just saw, set up, so when I hit it, it goes straight to my apps. There's all my apps. Uh, works brilliantly. Really fast switching between them. I mean, I'm finding it a little bit hard just finding the odd thing or two, but, you know, on the whole, I, I, I really actually like it. Apart from it's just a bit new and a bit interesting, so I get to fiddle about with it. It's it's good. It's, it's, it's nice and fast. I mean, I do feel a bit weird not having the button down here. But uh, I think that's just me being a bit uh, OCD, perhaps. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, really, you know, when you hit this button and it takes you to the app screen, everything that was on your start screen is here. It's just here with a whole lot more. You know, most of it's kind of over here. I mean, uh, we've got where's it? Uh, control panel is uh, around here. There we go. Control panel. You know, you got you got all the things you did have, plus loads of other stuff that you never knew you never needed. Never knew you never needed. Never knew you needed. You know. It's good, and the window key hits it, takes it straight back. If you're ever stuck uh, and you want to get back, you know, Windows D takes you back to the desktop, and Windows X uh, does that. I thought I did something else. Sorry, <laughs> ignore me for a moment. So yeah, that's it. That's just a quick rundown of what I've got, what I've got going on. Uh, I particularly like it how the desktop follows it through now, as you can see, even follows it through to the uh, Metro screen there that I don't use anymore. So that's that. Um, but my views on it as far as gaming goes. Now, really wanted to bring you guys a um, uh, a like-for-like -like comparison of the BF4 beta, um, how it was running frames per second <laughs> on my uh, Windows 7, uh, and do a split screen on Windows 8.1. But uh, due to my inefficiency, I completely didn't realize that the beta was going to end uh, about <laughs> two days ago. Uh, just before I uploaded uh, and installed this Windows 8, so I can't do that comparison. I could show you the Windows 8 frames per second, Windows 7 frames per second I've got, but that'd be kind of useless because I can't show you the uh, the benefits. Um, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, I have researched it, and I know a lot of other YouTubers uh, quite well, and some I don't know some quite well, but I, uh, I trust their opinion. And you have to trust me that most people are getting at least, at least. 10 to 20 percent gain in frames per second on things like, or particularly on BF4 beta, that's the one that's, and BF4 due to come out in what we're about a week and a half or something from now. You know, you are going to get a significant frames per second increase by just upgrading to 8.1, even from 8 to 8.1, but particularly from 7. Okay, you are going to get an increase. Don't let be. Don't be fooled. Don't listen to any of the nonsense out there. <laughs> it may be tricky. You might not like Windows 8.1, but you will get a big boost. I have heard other people talk of boosts of up to 50% in their frames per second. There's people going from like 40, 50 frames per second to like 80, 100 frames per second. Now that's massive. Okay, so <laughs> if you were any of the guys that were struggling with it in any way in the beta. I recommend you get 8.1 and just, you know, sort that nonsense out, do it, put up with the Metro happiness, learn it, it's actually really good, you know, and reap the rewards, you know, reap the rewards, get the benefit. That's my advice to you. Um, I did it, I love it. I wasn't struggling with frames per second, you know, as you saw in one of my later videos, you know, I get like 
80, 90, 100, 120 frames. It was, it was good for the beta, and it was no problem. The new one's coming out, the release, and it's going to be obviously much more optimized. You know, I've read the, the footnotes and stuff. <coughs> um, so, you know, I've not got a problem with it at all, but um, <coughs> I really like it. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about is that, you know, just, just watch this. I just, just show you. Click on Google. Do you see that? It, it, bang! It's there, you know what I mean? In a second. <coughs> I mean, it was never that quick in Windows 7. Honestly, it's just, you know, a lot, lot slower. Everything is just like, you go to the app screen, whack, it's there, you know? Up oh, comes that, whatever that was. <laughs> uh, it's nice, you know, I've still got my charms um, uh, activated. I haven't di disactivated those. I don't find those really a problem. Some people say they are, but it's just nice that it gives you some extra options there that I'm not quite sure where to find them yet. I mean, like, I've only had it open a day. So yeah, it works well. It's good. Um, <coughs> don't slag it off. I like it. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, one quick other thing I'll say right at the end here is I'm recording this with a new little free program I found. It's not hacked or nothing like that. Um, this thing called uh, Open Broadcast Software. Um, <coughs> OBM. No, OBS. Sorry. Uh, whack it in uh, and download it if you, if you want to you know, scrap, capture screen uh, desktop uh, recording like I'm doing now. Mostly I record in uh, DX Tory, so <coughs> that's great for gameplay. But this for recording desktop seems to be working nicely. It works with Windows 8.1, which a lot of um, other stuff like Fraps y you can do um, Aero theme Windows 7, but it doesn't seem to want to do 8.1. Not for me anyway. Um, so yeah, download download that. It's free. It's easy. Uh, if you want to know how to use it, just message me. I'll put it in the comments, um, and I'll happily just, it's real simple, I'll just send you a couple of little sentences on on how to get it going. Uh, yeah, other than that, that's it. Um, sorry I haven't had a video out just, just recently, I've been uh, suffering a bit um, with a bit, a bit of illness, not that anyone really cares. But yeah, so that's that, and I should get some more videos out in the near future. Other than that, take it easy guys, and I shall see you in the next one.